At Franklin Middle School in Minneapolis, we're in a funk, but it was a good one, thanks to the cast of the hottest show on Broadway. Bringing the noise, bringing the funk is coming to the Twin Cities in December. The Tony Award-winning show runs December 17th through the 28th. Great Christmas present at the Orpheum Theater. Now from making noise to making money. Finally this evening, a Tony Award-winning production comes to North Minneapolis. Cast members from the Broadway show Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk perform today at Franklin Middle School. The musical opens at the Orpheum in December and tickets just went on sale today. Students and teachers from Franklin Middle School will be able to attend the first preview of the production. Franklin Middle School is kind of a hip school. They, uh, they see to it with uh, some sponsorship from outside donations in the Ordway to make sure that the kids see lots and lots of productions during the school year. Like Go that. see that That's show, great. even you without Savion Glover. It is really tremendous production. Yeah. Right, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, also, we want to remind you tonight that the Hong... Things got a little funky today at Franklin Middle School in Minneapolis. Almost a thousand students got a sneak peek at one of Broadway's hottest Tippett's productions. And with more on that, here's Family Care's Roxanne Battle. Well, Pat, at first glance, Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk is a show all about dance. But company members say it's about dance and so much more. It's a hip-hop lesson in history that Franklin Middle School students can relate to in more ways than one. Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk is a Tony Award-winning Broadway show about music and rhythm. It's also about African-American history, explored through the decades through dance. Learning history is really hard for some of us, you know what I mean? Especially learning American history, it's hard to find our place in it. I hope that the show will be able to give kids that, you know, let them show how, how they reflect as African-Americans in this society, you know, and take pride in that, because we're very proud of what we do. And they do it very well. Half a dozen 15 to 18 year olds make up Noise Funk's cast, who performed for their peers at Franklin Middle School today. A sneak peek made possible through the historic Orpheum Theater and Project Success, an in-school theater program that exposes students and their families to more than a dozen productions a year for free. Plays like Noise Funk that show kids they can be whatever they dream. I'm talking to students about you do what you need to do. You can be a success. They get to see it right here. Here's a 15-year-old from Manhattan who's on Broadway or who's touring. They need to see that. I think they have a lot of rhythm and um, it was okay. Today was just a sneak peek. All of Franklin Middle School is going to see the entire show when it arrives in town on December 17th, thanks to ticket donations from the Orpheum and other corporations. Tickets to Noise Funk went on sale to the general public, Paul and Pat, today. Mm. That'll sell out quickly, I I bet. think so. Yeah. Thanks, Ron. All right. Our British Nick. Well, so Minneapolis students get a rare treat. They got a chance to see a Tony Award-winning performance at their school. <laughs> Cast members from the Broadway show Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk performed at Franklin Middle School. The musical opens at the Orpheum in December and tickets went on sale yesterday. Students and teachers from Franklin Middle School will be able to attend the first preview of the production. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Looks like they're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. There's much more ahead on WCCO this morning. Broadway comes to a Minneapolis school. And the audience, students from a middle school. Cast members from the Broadway show Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk performed at Franklin Middle School. The musical opens at the Orpheum in December and tickets went on sale yesterday. Students and teachers from Franklin Middle School will be able to attend the first preview of the production. That's nice. Nice yeah, commitment really to kids. You bet it is. Stay with us on...
show that has been blowing them away on Broadway opens tomorrow in the Twin Cities. Bringing the noise, bringing the funk is a Tony Award-winning tap musical. But the star of the first touring production says it's not about being fancy or loud or even fast. Derek Grant says it's all about feeling. He plays the beat. Once again, bringing the noise, bringing the funk, opens tomorrow at the Orpheum, and it runs through December 28th. Bank. Now, the New York Times calls bringing the noise, bringing the funk, white hot energy. That's more rock concert than Broadway show. And now the beat is on in the Twin Cities. Noise Funk opens tonight at the Orpheum Theater, where Tapper Derek Grant stars as the beat. The, story, the, the show has a strong historical um, lesson being told, being taught, um, and pretty much starts around slavery and works its way up through the 1990s. <laughs> Myself, I use it as a form of meditation um, to get away from the problems uh, when my mind is heavy, when I'm stressing out, to be able to put tap shoes on and to get on some wood and just let it all out. This is what, this is what I grew up on, time steps. take the same steps that I grew up on and just get funky with it, so. Now that's that. And get funky with it, they do. Once again, bringing the noise, bringing the fun opens tonight at the Orpheum and it runs through December 28th. Singer Graham Nash says it's Tonight's last word goes to a guy who is making noise downtown. Derek Grant stars in the tap musical Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk. It opened tonight at the Orpheum Theater. Now that's tap. It's not about being fancy. It's not about being loud. Not necessarily about being fast. Um, but just being heard and felt. I think you can feel that. That's right. Pretty good. That's tonight's last word. And from all of us at Minnesota 9 News, thanks for watching. Have a nice night. It is approved by the city of Edina. Here's a look at what's coming up in the day ahead. Mayor Sharon Sales Belton joins Vice President Al Gore and other mayoral leaders in Washington, D.C. to talk about ways to reduce crime and ease transportation crunches. Today, Bachman's draws the names of 12 lucky people who get to buy the Diana Beanie Baby. And the entire student body of Franklin Middle School in North Minneapolis are special guests today for the matinee showing of Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk. Speaking of... Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk. You're heading there tonight, I aren't you? I can't wait. I'm excited. It'll be a fun show. It should be a lot of fun. I'm not going to be here tomorrow because I'm going out tonight. You're going to have such a great time. I know. It'll be kind of fun. Uh... To actually have a night out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to see what it's like at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So we're real excited. Oh, I bet. Well, now it's time for a morning mug winner. The win More news. Well, a little rhythm is coming to the Twin Cities this holiday season. Tonight is opening night for the Broadway show, Bringing the Noise, Bringing the Funk.
For true fans of tap dancing, this is the show to see. And Kim Jeffries has a chance to visit, had a chance to visit with the star of the show, Derek Grant. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. I was there, Dave. I know you're excited about the show tonight, but it was really fun to visit with Derek yesterday. You know, beyond being wildly entertaining, this show is about the folk art of tap dancing and the history of the people who have lived it. In tap dancing, to bring in the noise means to give it your best shot and really show what you can do. Lead dancer Derek Grant must do that and transform the role made famous by Broadway sensation Savion Glover. For me, it's just been about letting go of a lot of things, uh, a lot of emotions, um, expression, just letting it all out. Noise Funk tells of the art form's roots in slavery and portrays the many emotions that tap dancing can convey. Derek demonstrates. Now, if I'm feeling really good about myself, I, I might just hit a cramp like that, just nice and real easy. If I'm mad, if I'm coming over upset about something, I might hit it like this. Even in soft soles on carpet, you can feel the flirtation in this step. How are you feeling today? Show me how you're feeling today. Mm -hmm. Probably a little bit tired and, and uh, bored and impatient, ready to... No, I'm chilling. <laughs> today I'm chilling. Today I'm just laid back. I'm chilling. You know, that's when the old man in me comes out. Bring in the noise, bring in the funk showcases the folk art of tap while teaching of the people who have danced their stories through time. Which is so much of what this show is about, um, continuously showing, showing the struggle and, and black people trying to become American and being accepted as equals and then coming out on top and still managing somehow to survive it all. And somehow to do it all with joy. <laughs> Bring in the noise, bring in the funk opens tonight, and this is a limited engagement, only 11 shows. Now, your last chance to see the show will be December 28th at the Orpheum, and you can call Ticketmaster for details. You know, and I'm always impressed with a show like that is how the dancers can just maintain themselves. Oh. And, I mean, it's basically like exercising throughout the whole show and, and keep their breath and keep going. I talked with Derek about that a little bit because the issue with tap dancers is in the hips and in the lower back, you know. I thought about asking him to show his feet like ballet dancers oh, have yeah. the gnarled feet, but when you tap it has to do with uh, some of the feet but the lower back and the hips take a lot of wear and tear and they do have a trainer on the road with them. They work with the quadriceps and the thigh muscles to really build up the legs and condition them so that they can manage the dancing night in and night out. And you know, he, Derek is only 24 years old. So um, he's, he's young and in pretty good shape, and most of these dancers are pretty young, yeah. but it is physically a wearing. Hours. That's a lot of time. Mm -hmm. The show has gone through the dancers, but did, did it's going to be a great show. Did I mention I'm going tonight I to think I bring heard the noise? something the about that. Yeah. Okay, all right. Just to let you know. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. The time right now is 7.46. Stay with us on W... Also ahead, meet the lead dancer in the popular musical, Bring Into Noise, Bring Into Funk. He'll tell you the true meaning behind the tap. And here again is a way for you to help make the holiday. The popular Broadway musical, Bring Into Noise, Bring Into Funk, opens tonight in Minneapolis. WCCO's Jim Kim Jeffries talked with the lead dancer who explains the meaning behind the tap. <laughs> In tap dancing, to bring in the noise means to give it your best shot and really show what you can do. Lead dancer Derek Grant must do that and transform the role made famous by Broadway sensation Savion Glover. For me, it's just been about letting go of a lot of things, uh, a lot of emotions, um, expression, just letting it all out. Noise Funk tells of the art form's roots in slavery and portrays the many emotions that tap dancing can convey. Derek demonstrates. Now, if I'm feeling really good about myself, I, I might just hit a cramp like that, just nice and real easy. If I'm mad, if I'm coming over upset about something, I might hit it like this. Bring in the noise, bring in the funk showcases the folk art of tap while teaching of the people who have danced their stories through time. Which is so much of what this show is about, um, continuously showing, showing the struggle and, and black people trying to become American and being accepted as equals and then 
coming out on top and still managing somehow to survive it all. And somehow to do it all with joy. I'm Kim Jeffries, WCCO 4 News. Bring in a noise, bring in the funk. Opens tonight at the Orpheum, but it is a limited engagement, only 11 shows. Well, you can probably see the musical, but you may not be able to see the Vikings' final home game. <laughs> well, there's a lot of tapping and rapping going on in Minneapolis. The dance group Bring In The Noise, Bring In The Funk is making its debut appearance tonight at the Orpheum. The group is known for its unique style of tap dancing to hip-hop and jazz music. If you missed tonight's performance, you can still see them. Performances run through December 28th. They say it is just something to see. Still ahead, 450 pounds of... Well, it's time for the Twin Cities to get funky. Oh, oh, Still had a special backstage pass to see this funky musical making noise right here in the Twin Cities. And let's take a look. Yeah. Looking at the new federal building in downtown Minneapolis from our Minneapolis Sky Cam. We'll be right back. Bring it! Bring the ball! Last night we saw Rusty trying to sing some Christmas carols, and I do emphasize trying. Tonight is opening night for a hip Broadway show in Minneapolis, and the question is, can Rusty Gatenby get funky? Bring in the noise, bring in the funk was a hit on Broadway. And it really explains, uh, like, the African-American experience. But inside of that, it also explains kind of a, an historical outlook on tap dance. Dancer Derek Grant was born to tap. When you tap dance, all you gotta do is put on tap shoes. And you don't always have to do that. I mean, you can tap dance in whatever you got on. You can um, you tap, tap dance in Absolutely. Of course, he makes it look easy. After you put your toes down, you want to rock to make the heels available. There it is, right there. I'm showing you the funk. <laughs> There you go. Ain't too bad. I've got the beat. I've got the beat. As Derek explains, the show is about more than just dancing. Bring it means that whatever it is that you have inside, heart, um, desire, compassion, bring it with you. You know what I mean? When you get on that stage, bring the noise. Make a statement. You know, be heard. Oh, I could bring on the noise. Just not a lot of funk. <laughs> little funk, little funk in there. Rusty gave me Channel 5, Eyewitness News. Just a little bit of funk there. Bring in the noise, bring in the funk opens tonight at the Orpheum in Minneapolis and runs through December 28th. He actually did, he did good. better than I would have expected. Exactly. Better than I would have done, Absolutely. that's for sure. Out there tonight, it's a nice night, Brand. She came woke up. Some Twin Cities teenagers are learning a few hot new moves from a cool Broadway musical. Bring in the noise, bring in the funk opens tonight at the historic Orpheum Theater. But as Family Cares Roxanne Battle explains, thousands of local teens pack the Orpheum for a free preview performance. <laughs> They came by the busloads. Yeah, because it's the bomb, man. And lined an entire city block. It's live. More than 2,000 middle and high school students came to bring in the funk. Bring in the noise, bring in the funk. Bring in the noise, bring in the funk. For the last six years, Project Success has brought the world of theater into the lives of city kids for free. But nothing quite on this scale. This is fun. There's more than 1,000 students from Franklin Middle School alone joined by students from Anwat and Southwest and other Minneapolis schools. Students who appear to know that this award-winning production is about more than just dance. It's always about um, history. Project success directors say it's also about hope and realizing that dreams can be achieved. This is their passion and their focus. What's your goal? What's your passion? What's your dream? That's what this is, as well as just being fun. It's more than what I thought it'd be. There's, uh, there's just, uh, it's incredible. I like it. I like it a lot. 
Bring in the noise, bring in the funk opens tonight at 8 o'clock at the historic Orpheum Theater. The show runs through December 28th, and we're told, Paul and Pat, tickets are still available. All right, Rock, Looks thank good. you very much. The Toys for Tots campaign is doing pretty Newscast. For weeks, the cast of Bringing the Noise, Bringing the Funk has been working hard to bring the funk to the people. Now, they've been showing their stuff around town, and they asked Twin Cities Tappers to join in. Today at the Mall of America, the 10 finalists in the Noise Funk Challenge did just that. It off. Now, 10 foot 5 is made of guys from Tartan South High Schools and the University of St. Thomas. Noise Funk, the big show, is at the Orpheum Theater through December 28th. And it is time to make noise of a different sort. Eight hometown kids are stomping their feet and making a little noise at Camp Snoopy's Wilderness Theater. The dance finalists are trying to make the cut in the Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk Dance Challenge. Finalists were judged on overall look and technical ability. Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk is a dance production currently playing at the Orpheum Theater. Our Santa Anonymous toy drive has been extended through the weekend. So far we've collected... Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk! Madam C.K. Walker... Woohoo! You're watching four-time Tony Award-winning Broadway musical Bring In Da Noise, Bring In Da Funk. Earlier this week, the groundbreaking musical began a limited engagement here in Minneapolis. And it's not too late to get tickets. The show is on stage at the historic Orpheum Theater through December 28th, and for tickets you can call 989-5151. Now prior to the play's Twin Cities premiere, young tap and hip-hop dancers here in the Twin Cities were put to the challenge. Last night, Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk Tap and Hip-Hop Challenge finals were held at the Mall of America. In a moment, you'll get to see some of the winning contenders do their thing. And joining me now is Tammy Hauser from Theater Live. She is the Education Director and Tammy had a big hand in putting the event together. Thanks for being here, Tammy. Yeah, thank you I didn't know that we had such a talented group here in the Twin Cities. I saw them kind of rehearsing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this competition. Mm -hmm. yeah, obviously, it's to inspire some of the young performers. It is, and it's to give them a chance to bring in their own noise, which really means to bring their best to the competition. Um, we had a semifinal competition December 6th, and 30 different um, teen groups performed. Uh, last night were the final eight um, semi-finalists Some who hot competed. competition. It's great. Did the kids get to see their performance at all? Uh, uh, bring in the noise, bring oh, in the Oh, they're going to come on Monday night. So the winners get to see the uh, performance. All the semi-final winners got two tickets to the Monday night performance. And I, I read that they also have a class now with some of the cast members. Yes, yeah, the second play, prize winners get to uh, have a noise funk master class Isn't that next great? Friday. Now, the show, for those of us um, who haven't seen it, but I, I've read about it, is kind of a, a, a tap uh, story mm -hmm. about history and mm -hmm. emotion and mm -hmm. kind of telling a, a tale through tap dance. Yep. That's right. Um, George Wolf, who was the um, producer and artistic director of the show, calls it a tap rap discourse. Um, it's uh, the history of African Americans in this country from slave ship time to current day. Told through, told tap. through tap. How interesting. Yeah, it's now, um, for kids who want to get involved, Theater Live, mm -hmm. what, what kind of organization mm -hmm. is it? Theater Live is a nonprofit presenter. It brings shows, uh, Broadway shows, music, and dance to the state Norfium theaters on Hennepin Avenue. Sounds great. And it's for kids. Um, primarily, and okay. the work that I do as Director of Education is to try to connect youth to the Broadway productions, to try to engage them and give them opportunities okay. to learn more about Sounds it. Sounds great. Okay, now, of course, tickets are still available, but we are going to let you see some of our winners right now. Let's take it away. This is 10 foot 5, group of guys, been performing together for 10 years. All right, let's watch.
wonderful. And who is our next performer? They are so cute. Do that flip? I yeah. want to get out there. Really Who's fun. our next performer? It's Nick Bowman. He's 16 years old, and he's been training at the Butterfield Gallery um, and also working at Tappan in the Twin Cities for the past three years. All right, let's get a look. Good morning, I just wanted to say, uh, it's an honor to be here today, and uh, I was given a gift seven years ago, and it's something that gets me through hard times, something that gets me through good times. And just my love for dance. So I'd like to share that with you. So here we go. Wonderful. That is great. That's totally improv. And now so. those are the winners yes. for the competition. Yes. In the um, the grand prize winners, we had one individual and one group, and then we have second prize individual and group. So. Great, great. And once again, Bring Into Noise, Bring Into Funk is on stage now through December 28th at the Orpheum. And you can call 989-5151 for tickets, but you better hurry up because they are selling out fast. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for being here. We Thank appreciate you. it. And I'm going to go tap a little bit now. Finally tonight, I can't believe I'm going to say this, it's time to get funky. That is 10 Foot by 5, a dance group from the area that wowed the crowds at the Mall of America yesterday and the judges. The kids were competing for a chance to get backstage passes and tickets to bring into noise, bring into funk, as well as a chance to dance with some of the cast members. The groups were judged on their overall look, their technical ability, and creativity. And it's easy to see how 10 foot by 5 stole the show yesterday. They were on the Saturday morning show this morning. Were they really? Were they? they were. They were great. Fabulous. And they get to go Monday night. Wow. Wow. Great That's for them. Good time. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you back here at 10. More free stuff from us. <laughs> we're running out. Oh, okay. <laughs>